the wisdom that peruses every activity of God the wisdom that gives God his feedback the wisdom that delights the heart of the father it is this wisdom I'm presenting we understand how the words are chosen why because we are doers of the word we are masters of the word we are poets of the word I pray to God that your ministry will not be in the outer court but you will come into the place of the very presence of God but by reason of Christ who has opened the way we have free access to God and we are not afraid therefore he said come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find grace and help even in a time of need and most of us who think that prayer is a means of just taking something taking something we have never got to the place when we understand that prayer is work when we pray we work when we pray we when we pray we form when we create we make things happen and you know what in the secrecy of this work god rewards you okay now get set for the good word of god with pastor Obed. of it always a blessing we've been learning so much to ensure that in our generation or in our life whatever we need to do to see immortality manifest The advantage we have to manifest immortality, not just to walk in divine health, but to awaken every seed of immortality within us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And last Thursday, I started treading on very sensitive topics that require working on broken glass but I told you that as far as it's in the word of God we will talk about it regardless of how somebody feels about it because it is the word of God hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so I started talking to you about the Pleiadian influence and the word of God says that knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens in Job chapter 33. He says that canst thou establish their dominion on the air. Then he said, canst thou bind the sweet influences of the place. Job 38, 33. Job 38, the verse 33. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the air? But in the verse 31, he said, Can you bind the sweet influences of the Pleiades or lose the bands of Orion? Can you bind the sweet influences of the Pleiades or the Pleiades or lose the bands of Orion? And I spoke to you about the seven sisters, which is the other name for the plates, the message says, can you catch the eye of the beautiful plates sisters? And one other version says, can you catch, can you bind the sweet influences of the seven plates? So now various versions put the plates either as the beautiful played sisters or they put it as the seven sisters. It is one and the same. Other versions also says, can you bind the seven doves of the Pleiades or of the Pleiades? Can you bind or can you catch the eye of the beautiful seven doves 
or distract Orion from his hands? Can you bind the beautiful seven doors? Or he says, can you bind the sweet influences of the seven doors? Can you bind the sweet influences of the seven doors? Can you bind the sweet influences of the seven sisters. Can you bind the sweet influences of the beautiful Pleiades sisters or distract Orion from his hand? What a word. And so from here, I spoke to you about the influence of the angels of the churches who are the seven stars? Because the word of God also, even with other versions, instead of saying the plate, say, can you bind the seven stars? And when you read the Amplified in the book of Amos, he says, can you bind the chains of the cluster of stars called plates or lose the cause of the constellation Orion? We read in the book of Amos, and he says, Seek him who made the cluster of stars called plates and the constellation Orion, who turns the shadow of death or deep darkness into the morning and darkens the day into the night, who calls for the waters of the sea, Pours them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. And so we were talking now. He says, seek him that maketh the seven stars. Seek him that maketh the seven stars. And Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning. So we know that the place is the same as the seven stars. Please can everybody say the seven stars. Now we turn to the book of the revelation of Jesus and over there we begin to see in the chapter 2 that there is the one that walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks and he has the seven stars in his right hand. And today I'll be dealing so much with the matters of the right hand. He said, and he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword and his countenance was as the sun shined in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead and he laid his right hand upon me saying unto me, fear not, I am the first and the last. Now, he goes forth to say that the seven stars, the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in his hands. He said, the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand are the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks with our souls are the seven churches. Everybody say amen. amen. Now we know that the plates refer to the seven sisters. The seven sisters. I want to do this quickly. And I'll go into some other things today. Wonderful things. of it. Always a blessing.
Wisdom, a subject that has befuddled many a believer and remains a mystery to most. Some have said it is the proper application of knowledge. Others have defined it as the beautiful cascading and articulation of words. But did you know that wisdom is not learned in the schools of this world and that a believer must never ask for wisdom? Introducing a treasure that would revolutionize this generation and the next. The Seven Pillars of Wisdom, The Hidden Elixir of Life, a riveting book written by Pastor Obedobing Ade. In this book, you would come under the inspiration of the Holy Rock of God as the man of God, Pastor Obed, unlocks this mystery, which is wisdom. As you flip each page of this book, you will be built up into a glorious edifice, expressive in works and power. Order a copy of this book now, available in all our bookshops. To place an order, please call us on plus 233-20-910-5997 or on plus 233-55-792-6498. You can also get the ebook on Amazon's Kindle app or visit www.christgospelpolitan.org for more information. Shalom. Pastor Ovid, always a blessing. Now, the seven sisters. In the word of God, we know of one that had six sisters and were a family of seven sisters. The word of God speaks concerning a certain priest by name Reuel. He was the father-in-law of a mighty man called Moses. And he was the priest of Midian. In other places, he is referred to as Jethro Reuel. That is to say, Jethro, the friend of God. We know that in the whole of the scriptures, one man by name Abraham had that honor accorded him. Now, if you know a little bit about the arrangements of the courts of the heavens, you know that to be called a friend of God is a high title or is a high rank. Well said, it is one of the highest ranks in the courts of God. R-E-U-E-L, Reuel, from verse 15, Exodus chapter 2. From the verse 15. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. Wonderful. He sat down by a well. In the New Testament, we also know of a man that sat down. By a well. The word of God says, and as he sat by the well, this man called Jesus, by noon saw a woman coming. He said, now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour, 12 p.m. And there walked in a woman. Who came to Jacob's well? Now, in the Old Testament, we also see Moses, who in running away from Pharaoh of Egypt, landed himself in Exodus chapter 2, the verse 15 downwards, by a well. He said, now when Pharaoh had this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh. And dwelt in the land of Midian, and he sat down by a well. Verse 16. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. The priest of Midian, he had seven daughters. 
the priest of Midian had seven daughters, the seven sisters. The priest of Midian had seven daughters. The priest of Midian had seven daughters. And they came and drew water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. They came to water their father's flock. The plates are also referred to as the flock. The flock, the seven sisters, the seven stars. He said, the moment, what this? Whenever you look at the plates as the flock, whenever you look at the plates as the flock, you are looking at the group of stars that follow the plates. Where the Pleiades is inclusive. Now you remember I told you that the Pleiades has some influence to attract other stars. But those other stars are not actually visible to the eye. And in the constellation of Taurus, we have the lead being Pleiades and Orion. And Orion is always following the Pleiades. Amen. All right. Now, when I say play Aedes or I say play it, it's one and the same, depending on how you want to say it. Now, so, the players were also referred to as the flock. In the instance, where you saw the collective work of the seven sisters. So, the word of God says that these seven sisters came to this well where Moses was seated. To fill their troughs with water to give this water to their father's flock. And the shepherds came and drove them away. Is that not what we are experiencing in the church? When we should advance towards growth and should care about the flock. We have other shepherds who begin to resist the work of the seven stars. They stand up. To fight the work of the seven sisters or the work of the seven stars. The seven sisters have an assignment to feed the father's flock. The seven sisters, they have an assignment to get water for the father's flock. Now, all of these things as you see up there in the stars... The word of God says that the heavens declare the word of God. The heavens, they declare the word of God. I'd like for you to understand that there are seven wonders in the universe and three move together. The three moving wonders are the heavens, the earth, and man. The heavens, the earth, and man. The Bible speaks concerning the height of the heavens. And the depths of the earth. And speaks concerning the dimensionless heart of man. They are the three wonders that move together. The heights of the heavens. The depths of the earth. And the dimensionless heart of man. He said the heaven for height. The earth for depth. And the heart of kings is unsearchable. These there are seven wonders, but these are three wonders that move together. The heavens for height, the earth for death, and then the heart of a king that is unsearchable. From here, anytime you begin to see things in the heavens as wonders, they actually are pictographed or inverted in the earth realm. Said that, let it be done here on earth as it is in the heavens. Every wonder you see in heaven can also be seen on earth as a pictograph, inverted. So now, the happenings in the heavens also happen on earth. But you know what? 
for you to mirror the heavens on earth, you will need a king. You will need one that has been given the right of dominion to establish the rule of the heavens on earth. So in the book of Job, the 38th chapter, the 33rd verse, he said, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens? Canst thou establish their rule upon the earth? There are ordinances in the heavens. They should be established or their influence should be experienced on the earth. But we need three wonderful things to move together. The heavens for height, the earth for death, and the unsearchable heart of a king. We will need a man to drive the ordinances of the heavens and establish their influence on the earth. Heaven is channeled through men. The heaven for height, the earth for death, but a man to break the height and the depths of the earth. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a time in the world. It's been an experience unforgettable. I believe that the revelation of the word of God that has come to you would remain in your heart. Your faith has been built up. The fruits will show. You know what I want you to do with me? I'd like for us to pray. And I believe that as we pray together, you would see the hand of God in a way you've never experienced before. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for my dear viewer. I thank you that the word that they heard has been planted deeply in their hearts. I believe that you are here to confirm the words that they've heard with mighty signs and miracles following. Touch the thirsty heart. Touch the one that is hungry. I give you praise that they are filled even in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, faith cometh by hearing. You got times and seasons in your hands. You call for